Hello everyone, I'm Tim Mapes with the Shasta County Health and Human Services Agency and it's time for this week in HHSA. Here's what's going on. Are your kids back into the school routine? Have they ever asked if they can walk or bike to school? Well, it's a great idea to get them exercise and also reduce the number of vehicles at the school drop-off. If you can, you can walk to school with them. If you live too far away, park a short distance from the school and walk the rest of the way. You can find out more by going to HealthyShasta.org and you can click on the School tab. The Safe Routes to School section can be found under that School tab and has safety tips and great ideas to get others involved. Well, it's a job just to get a job. And once again, HHSA is teaming up with community partners for the Work Readiness event. Job seekers can get resume building skills, interview practice, hairstyling, and clothing assistance, and more. This event is scheduled one week before the Smart Center's job fair so that job seekers are all ready to go. This free event is open to the public and it will be Thursday, September 7th from 9 in the morning until noon at the Wind River Event Center on Rancheria Road in South Reading. We need your input on how to best serve the community when it comes to using Mental Health Services Act funds. A meeting is coming up August 29th from 2 to 3 p.m. at the Reading Library to review the MHSA 2017 three-year program and expenditure plan. If you go, you will have the chance to learn about MHSA program's progress and give input into changes through this stakeholder process. This work group will meet quarterly to provide input and guidance for planning, implementation, and oversight of MHSA programs and services. It is open to anyone who wishes to participate. Through the California Department of Mental Health, MHSA provides increased funding, personnel, and other resources to support county mental health programs. Shasta HHSA oversees many local MHSA programs that impact the mental health and well-being of children, transitional-aged youth, adults, and older adults in our county. You can always find more information on all of these events by going to ShastaHHSA.net. We will see you next time.